In this video, I want to show you how to set up the defaults for the steel shapes. To do this, open the steel shapes dialog, then select the default button. This opens the MNL file, which contains all the defaults for the steel shapes. The first line that we have highlighted is the location of the steel shapes program. Uh, in this case, it's an X64 workstation and the program is located in the program files x86 folder. Next we highlight the hatch pattern that we use for the steel shapes when drawn in section view. In this instance we're using the hatch pattern steel uh, and you want to make sure that your hatch pattern that you select here use the exact name that is in the drawing file and that the hatch pattern already exist within the drawing file. In this case, we're using the default AutoCAD hatch pattern named Steel. Okay, next we look at the layers. Uh, for hidden lines, we've selected the layer name Hidden. For the hatch uh, that's on the uh, sections, we've selected the layer name Hatch. And for our break lines, we're using the layer name break. Also for the text, we're using the layer name text. Now you can change these layer names to be anything that you have uh, that you want to use in your drawing. For center lines, we're going to use the layer name center line. Now the center line uh, as you can see in a elevation or a plan view, it's going to be this line, uh, which is uh, an important line that has the um, X data associated with it or the identification of the shape. As you can see, as I list this line out, this line contains the information about the shape when it is in a elevation view and also when it's uh, in the plan view. Now, one of the things that you can do with the center line, if you don't want these to plot, is you can go to whatever layer you have chosen for your center line and select the no print option. This will prevent the center lines from printing so you don't have to erase them. Now we have the default setting for the hatch scale factor, uh, three and a half inches and the cutback for uh, shapes drawn in plan view. You can also change these settings in the dialog box itself. If you're using the layering system within the drawing, then you want to leave the default at zero. If you're going to use the part layer system, then you want to change that to one. The next are the fireproof variable settings. And we're not going to cover each one of those individually, but as you can see, uh, there are several settings that you can set for the minimum and maximum arc lengths, uh, for the hatch pattern style, and for the layers for that uh, fire protection. Again, that pretty much covers the default settings for the steel shapes that you can set up according to your layering system and the hatch patterns and scale factors that you want to use for your drawings.